Hey, hey, lambs, it is Joy with Jesus the Gym in them. Okay, so I want to talk about something that is very important to all of us, just finding the motivation we need to do something we really want to do. Particularly, I'm going to talk about health and fitness, but these tips I'm going to share today will work with anything. Um, all the tips will make you very conscious of what your goal is, help you focus on the goal, help you stay inspired, creative, and keep going. You know, a lot of times you, you find the strength to, to maybe do it, muster up enough strength to do it, but you can't keep it going. All right, well, we all have those days where we just feel less motivated than we did the day before. So let me tell you what I do. This is how I stay motivated. Okay, so we, we are on social media now. I use social media to my advantage to help me complete whatever goals. It can be a spiritual goal, financial goal, relationship goal. It can be my fitness goal. I friend people on social media that help keep me focused on my goals. Okay, so I have a lot of fitness people on my personal timeline because those are the kind of posts I want to keep seeing over and over and over and over. They keep me motivated. They keep an image before me, a picture that makes me go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, you know. Um, shout out to my trainer, Fit with Renee, about that fit life. I had to show you my shirt. Hey, Renee. Okay, so that's another thing. I stay around people who do what I do understand why I'm want to be fit and then are beyond me. Okay. So in, in my last episode, I talked about drinking a gallon of water a day, right? Well, that was because I was around these ladies who were drinking two gallons a day. I was like, Ooh, I didn't say, Ooh, that's just too much water, girl. I just said, all right, I'm coming. I ain't there yet, but I'm coming. You see what I'm saying? So I went for it and it worked. So getting around a group of people, whether it's a class or you hire somebody, I believe in spending money to stay motivated if it's worth it. Okay, that's worth it to me. Uh, if I need to pay a trainer to make sure I stay motivated, my, my health is important to me. Jesus, the gym and them, it's important to me. So I'll pay for it. The other thing I use a lot, I use this daily. I... YouTube motivational speeches. They are saved in my favorites under motivational. I have them um, in their own category. Uh, people like Les Brown, Eric Thomas, uh, it's some random people on there too. I don't even know their names, but I'm telling you what, I get on that treadmill and they start saying, there's a lion in you. You can win. Anything you want to achieve, your mind can get you there. Boy, I'll be on that thing like 10 miles per hour in two minutes. What? Six miles down. Damn. It works for me. Hearing those people just pumping in my ear, just building you, building you, building you, building you. Oh, we need so much affirmation that we don't get in our lives. Just, you know, just, man, you can make affirmation. Go to that YouTube and, and type in motivational speeches. They have some for an hour, some for 20 minutes, some for six minutes. So if I have an hour long workout, put my earbuds in, hit up that LA Fitness, pump them weights, run that track, do whatever I'm going to do. And the motivational speeches just boom, 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 boom. And you know, scriptures come up in my mind while they're talking all that motivation. I start hearing scriptures. A girl, it just really get me going, you know. Amen. All right, so that's something you can do with the motivational speeches. Uh, the other thing, pray for it. You knew I was going to say that. Girl, come on now. We love some prayer around here. Prayer, get yourself in order. Pray. Jesus, I need motivation. Pray it till it comes down. Don't let go till it bless you. I ain't playing. That's what I did. I said, Jesus, I ain't letting go till you bless me. So when my motivation needs some motivation, I let somebody else motivate me. Another thing I do is um, I have podcasts uh, that are specifically geared towards health. So these podcasts more so keep, you, keep your mind geared around the health part of it. Foods and vitamins and macronutrients, which are like proteins, fats, and carbs. And then you have your micronutrients, which are all your vitamins and minerals and iron and all that stuff. Okay, so they keep you kind of in sync with what's going on, what foods have in them, ingredients, different things like that. Because when your mind is very conscious and alert of what you're putting in it, you tend to put less of that food in it. Okay, like, hi dogs. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. 
All right. Uh, the other thing is, is now, if you really want to jump start this, what I'm talking about, and really get you, go to a dressing room. Uh, yep. Go to one of those three way dressing rooms at the J.C. Penney's or the Macy's, and try on some clothes. <laughs> Ooh, it's, it'll depress your life, but it motivate your life too. If you if you you know go in there like you know this ain't working. Okay, those three way mirrors don't lie. They don't lie about nothing. Honey, I get dressed in that three way mirror. I be like, ooh, no, I don't like her over there. I don't know what she's doing over there. Mm -mm, I'm about to go do some setups. All right, so that three way mirror, that's that's if you really want to get yourself going. Really want to get you, you really serious about your your fit game. Uh, that that'll get you going. Drink water. Now I got a whole episode. I just you know posted on water. Drink water. All the benefits. Water will motivate your life. Water gives you energy. Hallelujah. So drink that water, guys. Tell you something else. These people that I follow, they give you tips. They give you recipes. Some of them are just the girls I work out with, which I love. They are on my timeline because I'm like, these sisters going to keep me right, okay? They they putting recipes for how to make pancakes with your protein shake and uh, uh, how to do your eggs. Girl, I got new recipes. The old food don't look good no more. I got so many health recipes. Uh, I had a relative trying to get in shape. She said, I didn't know you could make so many good foods. I'm like, the good food is the real food. You know what I'm saying? So get those people on your timeline, on your Instagram, on your Pinterest. Oh, Pinterest got the recipes. Okay, you want some clean eating recipes? Pinterest. Yes. They got clean drinks, clean food, everything on that Pinterest. I like Pinterest. So that's what I do to stay motivated. I keep it before me. I just keep it in front of me. I keep it in my eye gate. I keep it in my ears and that's how I stay motivated. So I hope I've motivated you today, lambs.